OK, and welcome into Training Unit 5.3 and looking at data packet formats. And we're building on what we learned about JSON in the last presentation. And now we're going to look at Protobuf. Again, this training unit is brought under the Remain project, uh, which is an Erasmus Plus funded project uh, funded by Europe. So a current uh, list of the topics covered in this training unit. Um, we just finished JSON structures, so we're now moving on to Protobuf, um, which we'll talk about in very uh, lightly because it uh, can be quite technically complex and uh, you just have to have an awareness of it rather than a deep knowledge of it. So we'll understand what protocol buffers are. So Protobuf is a language neutral, platform neutral mechanism for serializing structured data. It was developed by Google and is widely used for efficient data exchange between services, especially in the context of something called microservices, uh, distribu distributed systems, and APIs. It's, as mentioned, language platform neutral and platform neutral and can serialize structured data. It's relatively easy to maintain and make changes, um, that, uh, if, which makes it maintainable and scalable. Um, and as I said, some of the applications here are listed inter-server communications and archiving data. I guess why is it important to us? We'll discover in the presentation after this, but just understand what they're about. Data serialization is the process of converting a data object into a series of bytes that can easily be transmitted over a wire or over the air. It has two parts to it. There is the serialization on the side that sends the data, there is deserialization on the side that receives the data. And the side that receives the data will be able to reconstruct the original data based on some predefined format. So the sender, in this example, we're sending, you know, just uh, bogus data here uh, in JSON format, test one, test two, test three. That gets encoded into a series of ones and zeros that get transferred over a line. Ones and zeros ultimately are voltage levels of some sort or equivalent for wireless. Then they get deserialized on the other side and I've been able to reconstruct it into the original data format. So data serialization happens in pretty much every communications infrastructure um, and is uh, essential for the digital uh, communications that we currently uh, enjoy and live in uh, in our current uh, day to day. So protocol buffers use dot proto files, which are similar to JSON files representing structured data. With a protofile, you can generate code to read and write data in any language you want. And then by simply editing the protofile, you can change the message without having to change the original code. So this is quite powerful um, in what it can do. And it allows a sort of centralized point of truth for how the data is going to be structure, structured and formatted, uh, allowing single point changes um, uh, within the structure. You can see a workflow here down in the bottom right, which is to create the proto file initially to define the data structure, you generate your proto file. Then you can use that as an input into code um, using the proto C compiler to generate a code output file, Java, Python, um, uh, C++ or whatever it might be. Then you can compile your proto uh, buff code with your project code and you come out with something that you can use to serialize here and deserialize data. So as I said, this would be a quick introduction um, and ultimately why this is important is that the next presentation will focus on an overall factory standard that can be used with MQTT, but it also uses protobuf as part of its underlying structure. And it's ultimately just to be aware um, of how it does uh, manage or what protobuf is and how it might be used within the next uh, presentation focusing on Sparkplug B. Um, again, this project brought to you uh, under Erasmus Plus, co-funded by the European Union. Project's name is Remain, and here is where the various partners are spread out across Europe. Um, I'm here in the MTU within Cork, Ireland, and my name again is uh, Dr. Liam Murphy. 